Golf, the wheel in a new form. Have you ever ridden a bicycle sideways? What about riding while gliding? Relax and enjoy the ride as we check out seven crazy bicycles you have to see to believe. These days, it seems like everything is getting smaller from our apartments, electronics, and our paychecks. Our cars are getting smaller too, as is their trunk space. If you own a bicycle, you've probably noticed that your trunk will usually only hold about half your bike. Too bad you can't ride around on half a bicycle. Or can you? Actually, you can if you happen to own a Halbred half bike. Created by German born inventor Felix Kuchart, the Halbred, German for half bike or half wheel, is exactly what it claims to be half a bike. It's only about one meter in height and 79 centimeters long. Weighing in at just nine kilograms, the Halbrad's tiny handlebars are located behind the seat, which sits atop a small frame connected to one standard size rear wheel and one small pedal driven front wheel. At first glance, with the handlebars behind the seat, you think the Halbrad would be hard to ride, but in this video, Crucharts makes it look so easy. This is a bike you can pretty much take anywhere, but in Germany, at least, there may be one small problem. As reported by the local, all bicycles must have two independent brakes, according to German law. The Halbrad has only one for now. So if you think riding half a bike isn't such a half-baked idea after all, you can find out more about the Halbrad at halbrad.de. It's in German, so good luck with that. Have you ever had someone look at you sideways? That's usually not a good thing, unless you're riding one of the world's most unusual bicycles, the snowboard bike from Boston inventor and multi-patent recipient, Michael Killian. To ride the snowboard bike, the rider actually sits sideways, turning the head forwards as if riding a snowboard. Even the pedals are operated in a side-facing position. A safety bar helps hold the rider in position. The snowboard bike involves both wheels in the steering process with a separate handlebar for each wheel. This results in a smooth, swooping motion while moving forward. Perhaps the biggest difference from riding other bicycles is that because the rider is actually moving sideways instead of forwards, the rider must use front to back balancing instead of normal side to side balancing traditional riders experience. This adjustment, together with having to steer both wheels with separate hands, makes riding the snowboard bike a mesmerizing experience. Word of advice, if you're out cycling and happen to see Mr. Killian going by, try not to get so distracted, you fall off your own bike. Find out more at sidewaysbike.com. If you're someone who loves to run, you know it's a great way to stay in shape. Unfortunately, it's also true that injuries can and do occur. According to a 2010 study by the Sports Medicine and Athletic Revealed Trauma Institute, about 65% of all runners will be injured in any given year. Recognizing this, entrepreneur Steve Kranich and prolific bike builder Dr. Henry Thomas have invented the Bionic Runner. The Bionic Runner's patented mechanism is designed to put an end to impact injuries by perfectly simulating the timing and motion of running. In addition, it far outperforms old school ellipticals and cross training devices. In a recent study, the Bionic Runner was able to reach the maximum heart rate achieved on an elliptical in half the time, making for a much more effective exercise session. With an eight speed internal gear hub, the Bionic Runner performs well on almost any terrain. It also has front and rear disc brakes for those times when coming to a stop is critical. The frame is sturdy and completely foldable for easy transportation. Now available at run4.com, you can purchase your own Bionic Runner for $1,490. Over the years, some really crazy flying machines have been invented, and occasionally, someone actually gets it right. In England, the Explore Air Company has invented a real flying bicycle. It's called Paravello, and though it's definitely one of those crazy flying machines, it really works. The Paravello is a single-speed aluminum bicycle with a strong but lightweight aluminum airframe trailer that's towed from behind. Attached to the airframe is a three-blade propeller powered by a biofuel-burning Parajet Volution two-stroke 22-horsepower engine. A nylon paracel and body harness is stowed in a backpack. Flight preparations include connecting the airframe, spreading out the paracel, putting on the harness, 
and strapping on a seat belt. Once the engine is engaged, the parasail opens and forward motion begins. 40 feet later, you're in the air. The Paravelo cruises at 25 miles per hour in altitudes of up to 4,000 feet with a range of 75 miles. During flight, the Paravelo is steered by alternately pulling on the parasail risers. Though some jurisdictions don't require a license to fly a Paravelo, parasail training is highly recommended. For about 45000 you can get your own Paravelo at ExploreAir.com. Getting bored with your workouts lately? If so, you may soon have a solution that will really get your exercise juices flowing once again. It's the Twicycle from musician and inventor Boyan Rista. Rista says he's always wondered why bicycles didn't take advantage of the front wheel as an additional source of power. Realizing that there was no commercially available product that employed this idea, he decided to create his own. Now, with the Twicycle, he's done that and more. By connecting a power chain from the front wheel to a set of rotating handlebars, not only is the Twicycle a powerful two-wheel drive bicycle, but it's an effective and exciting way to work those muscles. The Twicycle lets you take in the sights while simultaneously working your upper and lower body. The rider has a choice of working the legs by only using the pedals, working the arms by using the handlebars, or both at once for an intense, exciting full body workout. When powering the front wheel, the rider can lean onto a chest pad for support. This also protects the rider from the front chain. Check out Twicycle.com for all the latest information. If you think it might be fun to go hang gliding, but you're afraid of heights, you might be interested in this crazy bike, the Street Flyer. Designed by Dr. Karsten Mayring, the Street Flyer simulates the feeling of hang gliding without the dangers of real flight. After all, with a top altitude of about three feet, you probably don't have to worry about wind shear or bird strikes. The Street Flyer has a three-wheeled, arched frame design with two wheels in the forward position. Riders are strapped in from a hanging body harness with hand grips toward the front for steering and braking. To get going, the rider uses good old foot power or a little help from some friends. After gaining enough forward momentum, the feet are placed on the rear foot rest and the feeling of flying is achieved. Dr. Mayring's patent pending design utilizes a carbon fiber frame, but a heavier version called the Moev was recently prototyped by a group of students at the Colorado School of Mines in Golden, Colorado. Various future designs are also envisioned by Dr. Mayring, including a winged, motorized flying version, as well as a configuration for use in physical therapy. To find out more, see the link in the description section below. Since bicycles were invented in the early 1800s, designers have experimented with both large and small wheel sizes. One bike prototype that provides both is the Lunartic Hubless Bike from the UK's Laboro Design School student, Luke Douglas. The Lunartic utilizes one large and one small wheel, though it isn't the first to do so. In fact, many early bicycles use this concept, with the smaller wheel placed in the rear. The Lunartic does just the opposite, placing the smaller wheel in the front, saving space and resulting in greater control and more precise steering. Probably the most visually striking aspect of the Lunartic is the hubless rear wheel. Since there's no hub, there are also no spokes, leaving onlookers to wonder how the wheel is connected to the bike. The answer lies inside the circumference of the rear wheel, where a bottom bracket or horizontal axis connects the crank arms to the wheel. Instead of a metal chain, which can develop kinks, the Lunartic hubless bike is powered by a belt drive system with small, rigid teeth. The Lunartic prototype was a finalist in both the 2010 James Dyson Awards and South Korea's Seoul Cycle Design Competition. Though the Lunartic has yet to progress past the prototype stage, its innovative design is still turning heads across the internet and among the bicycle design community. So, what do you think? Which one of the seven is the craziest? Let us know in the comment section below. Remember to subscribe for more great videos and also don't forget to hit that like button. Until next time, thanks for watching.
We brought you the Paravello flying bike and the insane snowboard bike. Now we are back with seven more crazy bikes you just have to see to believe. Enjoy! If you love to walk but also enjoy riding bicycles, we've got the perfect bike for you. Check out the LapaFit walking bike, a crazy combination of a treadmill and a bicycle. A totally new way of moving. Riding the LapaFit is as easy as taking a walk in the park. Instead of pedaling, you simply walk on a treadmill. This sends a signal to an electronic interface and activates a powerful electric-driven quantum motor, which turns the wheels. With a combination of gears and an electric assist, your walking pace is boosted up to the speed of a regular bike, increasing your walking speed by an amazing 400%. If you hit the brakes, the motor is immediately shut off. A freewheel function is activated when going downhill. The LapaFit's total length of 2.3 meters is accentuated with LED lighting from front to back, making you easily visible by traffic and pedestrians alike. On a 4-hour charge, the LapaFit can go for an unbelievable 55 kilometers. A handy rear luggage carrier sits atop the rear wheel for bringing along whatever you need for your excursion. Built upon a sturdy, solid steel frame with six levels of suspension, you can ride the LapaFit with confidence. Ready to go for a walk? How should James Bond get around when his Aston Martin is out of commission? Like this? Meet the Bond Bike, a bicycle fit for a secret agent. The Bond Bike can pretty much go anywhere. Instead of a rear wheel, this crazy creation has a special K-Track Caterpillar track, suitable for rough terrains. If the bad guys happen to get too close on the street and pull up beside you, a flamethrower in the handlebars will make them think twice about invading your space. While evading an enemy agent in the snow would grind most bicycles to a halt, the Bond Bike has a ski blade that can be interchanged with the front wheel. See you later, evildoers! Once you park the Bond Bike to enter into your secret lair, one last special feature will help ensure no one steals it. Should a thief manage to defeat your bike lock and sit down on the seat, boom! An ejector seat sends them flying! Cycle insurer ETA created the Bond Bike as an off-the-cuff promotion, and though it is real, it isn't for sale. Still, we can always dream. If a leisurely sightseeing trip is your idea of the perfect bike riding experience, this creation is probably not for you. This is the Bird of Prey. Created by California inventor John Aldridge and built by veteran bike builder Russ Denny, Aldridge claims that the Bird of Prey is the fastest racing bicycle on Earth. While we can't prove that, its design alone gives a strong illusion of speed. Its long, low-profile and forward-facing, semi-prone riding position result in outstanding aerodynamics. Unlike most racing bikes, the Bird of Prey is actually comfortable to ride. Rather than sitting on a seat, the rider's hips rest on soft leather-covered supports, with the body fully extended. The elbows are supported by the aero bars at the front, with the feet clipped into the pedals at the rear. The low center of gravity means you'll never go flying over the handlebars. All this makes the Bird of Prey feel more like running, flying, or swimming than riding a bicycle. Its high-speed gears, mountain bike low gears, and 60-tooth rear chain ring provide excellent torque and surprisingly easy pedaling. So if you're driving along in your car and see someone flashing by you on a bicycle, you'll know you've just been caught by the bird of prey. Ready to free yourself from congestion, rush hour traffic, parking hassles, and fuel bills? You'll feel that freedom on this little marvel, the Yike Bike from New Zealand, one of the world's smallest personal transportation devices. This miniature penny-farthing design presents a distinct challenge to the status quo of traditional bicycle and scooter designs. The Yike Bike is a fully foldable electric bike that's easily collapsible down to approximately 6 by 24 by 24 inches. This, together with its 22-pound weight, make it the perfect companion for public transit systems. Abandoning the familiar forward-leaning riding position altogether, the layout opts for forward-pointing handlebars and hand grips mounted on the rear of the seat. 
The electric motor supplies quick and smooth acceleration, reaching a full speed of 20 kilometers per hour in just a few seconds. Learning to ride is said to be quick, easy, and more fun than anything else you can do while sitting down with your hands by your sides. Important safety features include high maneuverability, highly visible lighting that's always on, and a distinctive sound so that others can hear you coming. Yet the Yike bike has one major side effect. Those who try it just can't wipe the smiles from their faces. Meet the Quiggle, an incredible foldable bicycle from Germany's Karsten Betten. Folding up to a ridiculously small 55 by 40 by 25 centimeters, the company claims Quiggle is the world's most compact folding bike. Claims aside, any bicycle that folds down to a size that will fit in your airline carry-on luggage in under 10 seconds is pretty cool. As for its weight, at 8.5 kilograms or just under 19 pounds, you can literally carry it around with one hand. Quiggle's folding procedure, which keeps the chain out of the way, is made possible by a specially designed hinge and unique placement of the driver cog. So where does a name like Quiggle come from? First, the Quiggle is ridden in the upright position while leaning against the seat, resulting in a unique combination of riding and fitness walking. This also prevents tension in the shoulder and neck. As you pedal, the seat wiggles from side to side, providing a ride which the company says is more comfortable than sitting on a stationary seat. With each turn of the pedals, you're able to cover about 4.5 meters at a maximum speed of 25 kilometers per hour. Quiggle's maximum rider weight is 200 pounds, and the adjustable seat allows it to be ridden by persons of any height. With the amazing Quiggle, the future is unfolding before your very eyes. Norwegian innovator, renovator, and design guru Oli Urkilla isn't shy about creating strange and unusual bicycles, like this chopper project or his heavily modified Rosen Ghibli. As a graduation project at the Institute of Design in Lati, Finland, Oli may have come up with his wildest bike today, the Forkless Cruiser. Also known as the Phantom Bike, this white stretched out street rider pushes the boundaries of bike design to their limits. When viewed from a distance, the obvious lack of a front fork might have you believing you'd seen a magic trick or an optical illusion. The secret lies in the modified frame. The handlebars are connected to a steering rod that runs back toward the seat, then curves down and forward to the wheel. Because it also curves out away from the wheel and back again at the connection point, the steering rod doesn't block the wheel when turning to the right. It's all quite tricky, but it works. The added tubing below the seat also supports the rider. Judging by the forkless Phantom and Ollie's previous creations, we can't wait to see what he does next. How do you make a bicycle simpler to design and maintain? That's the question inventor Josh Bechtel asked himself when considering how complicated some bicycle designs have become. His answer, the Bi-Simple, is a perfect example of elegant simplicity. The Bi-Simple is a direct-drive, ultra-compact bike with a bit of a twist. Gone are the chains and gears of modern bicycles. Instead, the pedals are mounted to the back wheel. This may sound crazy, but it does cut down on the bike's complexity and number of moving parts, resulting in a lot fewer things that can break or go wrong. Without a chain, the Bi-Simple is able to demonstrate unique crab-riding capabilities, meaning that in addition to the front wheel, the rear wheel can be turned also. The lever-activated rear steering option allows for wild variations on riding, with tighter turns and maneuvering. While it isn't built for speed, the Bi-Simple is perfect for city riding, in that it's great for getting in and out of tight spaces. For normal riding, the rear wheel can be locked in place, with its simplicity, functionality, and insanely different design. The Bi-Simple affirms the notion that sometimes, less can be more. So what did you think of these crazy bikes? Which ones would you like to try? Let us know in the comments section below. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss the next insane video. See you soon.
moto Parilha Carbon. Esta bicicleta elétrica possui um display LED que exibe informações como o estado da bateria, a velocidade e a distância percorrida. A Parilha Carbon tem faróis dianteiros e traseiros, rodas de aço inoxidável de liga leve e um assento moto Parilha Sport. A bicicleta está equipada com um motor Shimano Step de 250 watts e 36 volts, que permite que ela atinja uma velocidade de 25 km por hora. Uma versão mais potente que pode atingir uma velocidade de 35 km por hora também está disponível. Ela possui um motor alimentado por uma bateria de íons de lítio de 12 amperes que leva cerca de 8 horas para ser recarregada. Health Bike esse meio de transporte incomum foi lançado pelo estúdio de design Colelinia, que é especializado na criação de veículos alternativos. A Health Bike é um híbrido de patinete e bicicleta, pensado para locomoção urbana. O modelo combina uma estrutura de alumínio e um longo volante de madeira compensada, duas pequenas rodas traseiras e uma roda dianteira. Para manobrá-lo, basta inclinar o corpo na direção necessária. O peso desta bicicleta é de pouco menos de 8 kg. A falta de um assento indica que a Health Bike foi projetada para locomover-se por distâncias de até 5 km. Impossible Bike a empresa chinesa Impossible Technology criou esta bicicleta elétrica que pesa apenas 5 kg e que quando dobrada cabe facilmente até mesmo em uma mochila. O motor leve e fino está integrado na roda dianteira. O quadro da Impossible Bike está disposto em torno da roda, em vez de ser aquela estrutura horizontal tradicional. Ele é feito de fibra de carbono com detalhes em aço. O assento e o volante têm a mesma altura. Além disso, o assento também serve para o armazenamento de uma pequena carga. O modelo é capaz de suportar facilmente uma pessoa de até 85 kg e superar praticamente qualquer irregularidade na estrada. Uma carga da bateria é suficiente para percorrer até 25 km. WeBot Aero este veículo elétrico compacto foi produzido pela empresa francesa WeBot. Esta bicicleta se destaca pela facilidade de dobrá-la e pelo fato de que ela não ocupa muito espaço. A Aero foi projetada para ser usada em ambientes urbanos. A autonomia deste veículo é de 70 km a uma velocidade máxima de 35 km por hora. Ela está disponível em dois modelos. O primeiro possui um motor de 250 watts, enquanto o segundo um motor de 500 watts. A WeBot Aero pode pode ser recarregada completamente em cerca de 3 horas. O peso desta bicicleta elétrica é de 22 kg e sua capacidade de carga é de aproximadamente 150 kg. Helix um designer chamado Peter Boltakis, de Toronto, é o criador desta bicicleta dobrável. A Helix tem duas rodas de 61 cm de diâmetro, que quando dobradas, ficam uma ao lado da outra. O guidão e os pedais também são dobráveis, e o selim pode ser rebaixado. O peso total desta bicicleta é de 9,5 kg. Além disso, a Helix tem um mecanismo de travas à base de molas para manter a bicicleta bem fixada em qualquer condição. Ela possui ainda freios a disco, e nove marchas. Um detalhe interessante é que as rodas da bicicleta dobrada continuam girando, o que permite que ela seja levada com uma mão como se fosse uma mala de rodinhas. JIVR uma das principais características deste modelo de bicicleta é a falta de uma corrente. Ela foi substituída por uma transmissão mecânica. A JIVR possui um motor elétrico de 350 watts de potência, de mais de 32 km de autonomia com uma única carga de bateria, sem o uso dos pedais. Como fonte de energia, são usadas baterias de íons de lítio escondidas na estrutura, que são totalmente recarregadas em uma hora e meia. A JIVR possui uma antena externa e conta com a tecnologia de transferências de dados Bluetooth 4.0 para trocar informações com os dispositivos eletrônicos do seu dono. Todas as estatísticas sobre a velocidade, a duração da viagem e a distância podem ser transferidas em tempo real para um dispositivo móvel. To Effecta DRT 
Este modelo de bicicleta foi desenvolvido por uma empresa chamada Trefecta Mobility. A DRT conta com um motor elétrico de 4 kW, uma caixa de 14 marchas e um acelerador para alterar a velocidade. Esta bicicleta pode alcançar uma velocidade de até 70 km por hora. A Trefecta DRT monitora o modo de condução e outros parâmetros usando um painel de controle eletrônico instalado no meio do guidão. Ao dirigir, o computador de bordo exibe a velocidade, o nível da bateria, a distância percorrida e outros dados importantes. A bateria de íons de lítio embutida de 60 volts tem uma autonomia de 100 km com a única carga sem o uso dos pedais. Minimal Bike o criador de bicicletas reclinadas, Bran Muens, criou esta bicicleta urbana chamada Minimal Bike. O modelo combina características das bicicletas de montanha, de corrida e urbanas. O veículo pesa pouco mais de 6 kg, pois possui uma estrutura leve feita de fibra de carbono. O comprimento desta bicicleta é de 1,45 m. A Minimal Bike possui um curioso guidão curvo com freios embutidos, escondidos dentro dos cabos, e proteção para as mãos no guidão. Grape G12H uma empresa chamada Remac lançou uma bicicleta elétrica cuja velocidade máxima é de 45 km por hora. O modelo é equipado com um scanner biométrico que reconhece as impressões digitais de um ou alguns dedos de várias pessoas diferentes. O motor Grape G12H é de 3 kW e com uma única carga da bateria esta bicicleta pode percorrer até 240 km. Além disso, o veículo é equipado com um grande display LCD que exibe todas as informações necessárias. Necessárias. Bow Bike os designers Jen Gunnweg e Piet Brandes são os criadores da primeira bicicleta elétrica de madeira do mundo. A Bow Bike possui uma estrutura de carvalho, robustas peças de aço inoxidável, pneus Schwalbe e um comutador de duas velocidades da SRAM. O motor elétrico de 225 watts, localizado na roda dianteira, permite que a bicicleta atinja velocidades de até 25 km por hora em terrenos planos. Uma carga da bateria é suficiente para percorrer 50 km. São necessárias 6 horas para recarregar completamente a bateria. O peso da Bow Bike é de 20 kg. Boltaco Brinco esta bicicleta elétrica foi desenvolvida pela empresa espanhola Bultaco. Este modelo pode atingir velocidades de até 60 km por hora e sua bateria tem uma autonomia de uns 100 km. Este veículo é alimentado por um motor elétrico que funciona com uma bateria de íons de lítio. A bicicleta possui pedais, o que permite que a pessoa continue andando caso a bateria se descarregue completamente. A Bultaco Brinco tem uma estrutura de alumínio e poderosos freios a disco. O painel instalado no guidão mostra o nível da bateria, a velocidade e informações de navegação. Autocycles um grupo de designers da Barcelona criaram esta bicicleta em comum parecida com uma motocicleta retrô dos anos 50. Uma das principais características da Auto Cycles é o motor elétrico embutido cuja potência é de 750 watts. A velocidade máxima que esta bicicleta pode atingir é de cerca de 54 km por hora. Além disso, a Auto Cycles possui um mini computador com um monitor LCD instalado em um dos lados do guidão. Esta bike possui ainda um linda marca Brooks. Um detalhe importante é que todas as bicicletas Auto Cycles são feitas à mão e podem ter diferentes cores, pneus, assentos e outras características. Fussy um designer chamado Robert Eager decidiu desafiar as organizações esportivas que controlam os padrões das bicicletas usadas em competições. Na Fussy, quase todas as características principais violam os padrões estabelecidos pelos regulamentos. Por exemplo, o diâmetro das rodas deve ser igual, mas neste modelo a roda traseira é muito maior que a roda dianteira. Isso ajuda a alcançar velocidades maiores mais facilmente. Além disso, na parte traseira há um pequeno motor em Embutido, e sob o assento, um pequeno espaço para armazenamento. 
pessoal, é hora de pôr o cérebro para funcionar. Entre no canal Brain Time. Lá você encontrará um monte de fatos úteis, interessantes e também informações bem humoradas. Inscreva-se, prometemos que será muito interessante. Whether you prefer zipping through the city, tearing it up off-road, or causing a wake on the water, these bikes are sure to catch your eye. Hi, I'm Glenn, and here are 20 crazy and unusual bikes. Number 20. The first bike on our list is an innovative design from Australia. Instead of the usual two-wheel setup, the street surfer replaces the front wheel with four smaller wheels. The front wheels have a specially designed fork which keeps all five wheels on the ground during sharp turns, adding stability. This carving ability makes the bikes feel more like a snowboard or a surfboard. Pricing starts at $1,000. Number 19. The Helix bike is the bike you never knew you needed, although you might have to relearn how to ride a bike. The steering on this bike isn't controlled just through the handlebars. The Helix has steering in the rear wheel with a quick-release lock to keep it straight when not in use. The double steering system allows for a riding style unlike anything else. Pricing starts around $400. Number 18. The Vera bike is an attractive design. Made in Germany, it almost looks like a standard bike. Ascending from the chain ring to just underneath the handlebars is the second set of crank arms that are powered by your hands. Not only does this offer an upper body workout, but it also powers your bike alongside your feet, allowing you to gain tremendous amounts of speed. Pricing starts out at $5,800. Number 17. The K-Track is a traction system that adapts to most mountain bikes on the market. This traction system replaces the front tire with a ski and the bike tire with a six-speed track system reminiscent of an army tank. This new system allows the bike to get traction in the snow when it usually wouldn't be able to. Pricing starts around $800. Number 16. This next bike has everyone focused on the lack of a place to rest your rump, when instead, everyone should be focusing on the Dream Slide's fancy crank. It has two independent crank arms that move three times faster going upward that allow you to put all your weight on the descending leg while standing up, making this bike a comfortable ride. Pricing on this one starts out at $1,700. Number 15. Coming from the mind of David Schwartz, the Flying Rider was made to give riders more leverage on the pedals while riding. Instead of a seat, the rider is suspended by a harness from above with a bar behind them to push up against while pedaling. While coasting downhill, the rider can relax and stretch out their legs Superman style while the harness supports them. While currently in the prototype stage, Schwartz is working on the final carbon fiber design. Number 14. The Quiggle is a super compact folding bicycle made in Germany. When folded up, the bike is small enough to be a carry-on during a flight. Not only is it super compact, but with its all-aluminum frame, it only weighs about 20 pounds. The upright style of this bike allows for support in the back and prevents tension in the shoulder area. Pricing starts at $1,300. Number 13. The Twicycle, similar to the Vera bike, has that double chain system. The main difference between them is that the handlebars act as the crank arms rather than a completely separate crank arm system, as well as having a cushioned chest pad for when using the handlebar chain wheel. The handlebar crank arms also have separate gears so that you can change the resistance to your liking. Pricing starts at $1,400. Number 12. Make It Extreme has quite the knack for making things, well, extreme. Their fat bike is no exception. Using two donated wheels from an immobile car and a few other car parts, they handmade this bike and machined special bearings for the wheels. It sure looks like a chore to get this bike moving, 
but it has style all its own. Just because this is a one-of-a-kind bike doesn't mean you shouldn't grab some car tires and make one of your own. Number 11. If you need the kind of bike that makes people do a double take, then the dragster-styled Nitro Rail is the bike for you. Even though it looks completely different than any other bike, it behaves in just the same way with no sacrifice to the power of the bike. The bike has a 68-inch wheelbase. There's a full-sized adult model and a kid-sized micro rail model as well. The full-size Nitro Rail costs $1,000. The kid size is $400. Number 10. While most companies are trying to add as much as they can to their products, the Buy Simple is more concerned with keeping things simple. With a few different models to choose from, these bikes have no chain to drive them. Instead, the pedals are directly attached to the back wheel. Not only that, but both wheels are free, allowing for ultra-tight cornering. Pricing starts at $1,000. Before you get caught up in all these fantastic bikes, don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon to stay up to date on the latest from Mind's Eye Design. Number 9 While the Trego is technically a bike add-on, it's too excellent to leave off this list. Able to fit on most adult bikes, you replace your front wheel with a quick connector which attaches the actual Trego to your bike. The tray can carry up to 50 pounds and quickly turns your bike into a cargo bike. Tilting wheels adjust to the ground beneath you to keep you stable, while also keeping your items from tipping over. Pricing starts at $1,200. Number eight. If invented today, what would the first ever bicycle look like today? I didn't even know I needed this question answered until right now. German designer Sven Rudolph created the answer to that very question in the form of the Concept 1865. A modern bicycle with a design following the Penny Farthing bicycle, it also includes an electric drive and has puncture-proof tires. Since this is just a concept, don't expect to see them for sale anytime soon. Number 7 The Explorer 3 is the ultimate in off-road hand cycling. This backward trike is a bicycle that doesn't allow you to use your feet at all. Instead, you use your hands for powering the bike. The cushion chest pad isn't just there for comfort either. It allows you to steer the cycle while your hands are busy pedaling. There are options for drivetrains ranging from 16 to 22 gears, as well as an electric assist. Pricing starts at $2,300. Number 6. The Baijin Hank is a classy little folding bicycle. Deciding to get away from the chain-driven drivetrain, it utilizes direct-drive levers that have three different gear ratios due to a hub transmission. The direct-drive levers help to deliver an increase in pedaling power over the standard chain-driven drivetrain. Pricing on this one is $5,000. Number 5. The Manta 5 might be my favorite bike on this list. Saying goodbye to wheels altogether, this pedal-powered propeller bike allows you to transverse any body of water with ease. Don't feel like pedaling the whole time you're out on the water? It also has a 400-watt waterproofed e-bike motor to power the propeller. A full charge offers about an hour of pedal assistance. Pre-order pricing on this starts out at $6,000. Number 4. The Halbred Half Bike is a uniquely designed cycle. This half bike was designed to be much more compact than a regular bicycle while also allowing you to get around your home city quickly. Handlebars are placed directly below your seat and control turning just like on a standard bike. It also has a standard chain-driven drivetrain, but a not-so-standard tiny front wheel. Pricing on this one starts at $1,400. Number 3. This crazy bike concept, even though it might not look like it, is entirely ergonomically designed. The Flizz creates an upgrade to walking and shares some things in common with the Flying Rider. Its five-point harness holds the driver's body up, and since there are no pedals, the driver propels the bike by walking. The suspended seat on the Flizz eliminates impact stress on the legs while also protecting the rider from running-related injuries. Because the Flizz bike is still in the concept stage, it won't be for sale anytime soon.
Number two. Not only is the Sada bike strikingly beautiful, but it also folds down to the size of an umbrella. Its hubless design allows for a lower center of gravity, giving the bike a better road grip, steering, and braking capabilities. While most foldable bikes tend to run on the small side, the Sada bike does not sacrifice its size for the functionality of folding, and instead, the hubless design allows for the wheels to be taken entirely off while the frame of the bike folds down. Pricing on this one is $1,700. Before we show you our number one pick, don't forget to comment down below and let us know which one of these unusual bikes you find most creative. Number one. The entirely custom and limited edition M55 Terminus is a high performance e-bike. The stock motor is 750 watts with the ability to upgrade it to a 3000 watt motor or it can be used as a pedal assist. A full charge on the motor offers a range of 62 miles. With only 55 Terminus bikes available, one day these could very well become collector's items. The Terminus can be all yours for around $35,000. Hey guys, this is Cassie. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Tell us in the comments below what you found to be the most interesting and why. Also, if you haven't done so yet, make sure to hit the bell notification next to the subscribe button to stay up to date with all of our latest videos. Thank you for watching. I'll see you guys next time. BM Extreme OX20 Drift é uma técnica controlada de deslizar nas curvas, realizada em velocidade máxima. A maioria das pessoas associa o Drift com os carros, mas essa técnica também pode ser feita por bicicletas. O importante é equipar corretamente a bike, por exemplo, com a roda X20 da empresa BM Extremo. O equipamento pode ser usado para substituir a câmara interna da roda traseira e o pneu de qualquer bicicleta BMX com rodas de 20 polegadas. A X20 tem um design único, talvez a característica a característica mais importante da roda sejam as peças removíveis, localizadas em torno da roda. E é exatamente isso que faz com que a roda deslize e se desloque. Ao mesmo tempo, este recurso não afeta a direção e controle da bike. O ciclista se sente muito seguro, tanto como se rodas comuns estivessem sido instaladas. Como essas peças móveis estão sujeitas a uma carga maior durante a condução, os desenvolvedores da X20 reforçaram a estrutura com aço. O peso da roda é de 4 kg e o fabricante oferece 3 tamanhos tamanhos diferentes. O preço da X20 é de 240 dólares. Mavic UST os pneus sem câmaras de ar não são novos no mercado. No entanto, todos os anos eles estão ficando cada vez mais famosos, de modo que os fabricantes se esforçam para criar o design mais avançado possível. A UST é um sistema de rodas e pneus novos, desenvolvidos por especialistas da empresa francesa Mavic. Eles conseguiram criar a sua própria construção sem câmaras de ar. Normalmente os pneus sem câmara ou são muito fáceis de serem colocados nos aros ou muito difíceis. Sem mencionar o fato de praticamente ser possível de enchê-los. Isso se deve principalmente pelo fato de os fabricantes de rodas e os produtores de pneus não se comunicarem entre si para obterem os melhores resultados. A Mavic desenvolveu o pneu simultaneamente com a roda para que se encaixem perfeitamente. A diferença de tamanho entre elas é de apenas alguns milímetros. É por isso que o processo de montagem do pneu na roda é tão simples e rápido. Assim, o risco do pneu saltar do aro a alta pressão é mínimo. A instalação não requer ferramentas especiais tais como espátulas para tirar pneu, enquanto que o enchimento é feito com uma bomba de ar padrão. Dessa forma, o Mavic UST é uma roda e pneu inquebrável com enorme margem de resistência aos efeitos adversos.
O fabricante oferece mais de 20 modelos, com um preço variando de 317 a 2.385 dólares por par. Two Spoke até mesmo para quem não entende nada sobre bikes, vai perceber de imediato que estas rodas têm um design único. O fabricante se concentra principalmente no seu desempenho aerodinâmico e assegura que essas rodas irão transformar qualquer bicicleta, proporcionando uma experiência de condução fundamentalmente nova. A Two Spoke é feita de fibra de carbono Toray repetidamente testada. Este material dá à estrutura uma resistência muito alta à tração. A área em torno do eixo e no interior do aro é reforçada para suportar melhor a carga, especialmente durante as curvas. Todo o design, incluindo o eixo de alumínio leve, é feito por especialistas da Holanda. A superfície dos discos de freio é durável, proporcionando uma frenagem eficaz que suporta temperaturas de até 210 graus Celsius. Hoje em dia, essas rodas são amplamente utilizadas por atletas profissionais. O preço dela varia de 1.200 a 1.400 dólares por roda. Urban X a roda que está sendo mostrada agora no vídeo é projetada para transformar uma bicicleta comum em elétrica. Para isso, basta retirar a roda dianteira da sua bicicleta e substituí-la pela Urban X. Seu design versátil e universal permite que a roda seja montada em qualquer tamanho e tipo de bike. Tanto o motor como as baterias e outros componentes eletrônicos são conectados diretamente com a roda. O interessante é que a bateria pode ser removida e colocada em questão de segundos. Dessa forma, você pode levá-la para casa para carregá-la. Ou também pode conectar um cabo USB a uma fonte de alimentação e começar a carregar a roda sem remover a bateria. Como adicional, o fabricante oferece um aplicativo para celular que mostra a carga restante, a distância percorrida e a localização da bicicleta, além de outras funcionalidades úteis. A velocidade máxima que a bicicleta pode atingir quando alimentada pela eletricidade dessa roda é de 32 km por hora, enquanto que a reserva de energia é de 48 km. O Urban X transforma a bicicleta em uma estrutura dois em um, pois você também pode conduzir a bike com os pedais. Quando estiver com pressa em uma subida íngreme ou apenas cansado de tanto fazer esforço físico, você pode mudar para o modo elétrico e relaxar. Essa roda é oferecida pelo preço de 400 dólares. Fly Cly. Aqui está outra roda, também projetada para dar uma nova experiência de condução e modificar a sua querida bicicleta. Por 1.055 dólares, uma bicicleta comum se transforma em uma bike inteligente. Neste caso, não é a roda dianteira que é substituída, mas sim a roda traseira. A presença do motor, da bateria e de outros componentes eletrônicos ajuda a bike a se mover sem que você faça esforço físico. Repare que quando os pedais começam a girar, o motor se desliga. Dessa forma, passar do modo manual para o modo eletrônico não não demora nem um segundo. A velocidade, bem como outros parâmetros, são escolhidos em um aplicativo especial para celular. A velocidade máxima possível é de 25 km por hora. Uma carga dura 30 km e o carregamento da bateria não leva mais de duas horas. Por incrível que pareça, a Flycly não apenas facilita a subida em estradas íngremes, o sistema também se recarrega quando o ciclista está em uma descida. Além disso, o aplicativo do celular permite que a bike seja bloqueada ao apertar apenas um botão além de notificar quando a bicicleta está se deslocando sem o dono. Enquanto mostra a sua localização, junto com o kit vem uma plataforma que executa três funções, lanterna, suporte e carregamento para o celular. Soft Wheel 
Diante de você está uma roda com um sistema de suspensão integrado e inovador, que foi desenvolvido por especialistas de Israel. O design pode amortecer, melhorar a dinâmica, bem como o manuseio e a eficiência da suspensão. O fabricante propõe o fornecimento dessas rodas para cadeiras de roda, proporcionando assim maior comodidade aos cadeirantes. No entanto, elas também são ideais para bicicletas. De acordo com os desenvolvedores, a roda Soft Wheel é capaz de absorver até 50% do impacto enquanto estiver sendo conduzido conduzida por absolutamente qualquer terreno desnivelado, desde cascalho a degraus. Vale destacar que o sistema de amortecimento das rodas só é ativado em situações em que é necessário. Em qualquer outro momento, ou seja, em uma estrada plana, a Soft Wheel funciona como uma roda tradicional. Dessa forma, essa inovação proporciona um nível de conforto fundamentalmente novo durante a condução, absorvendo todos os tremores e pancadas. O eixo removível garante uma instalação fácil e rápida. Existem várias opções de rigidez do amortecedor. Para ajustar a roda conforme a vontade do ciclista e seu estilo de condução, o preço de uma roda é de 1.300 dólares. ERW a última roda que mostraremos hoje demonstra todas as vantagens de um design de pneu vazado. A ERW tem um design patenteado que faz com que a bike se torne mais segura e mais eficiente para andar. A superfície do pneu não fura, assim como o pneu não corre o risco de sair do aro. Qualquer obstáculo irá deslizar por baixo da roda sem causar qualquer dano ou desconforto ao condutor. Dessa forma, você não precisa mais se preocupar com bomba de encher pneus, steps ou outros acessórios, que todo mundo que tem uma bike precisa ter. Isso sem mencionar o fato de que a substituição regular dos pneus tradicionais é prejudicial ao meio ambiente. A ERW, que significa Energy Return Wheel, pode ser comprada por 1.750 dólares. Ei! Pare de ser preguiçoso, é hora de recarregar seu cérebro. Bem-vindo ao canal Brain Time. Acontecimentos incríveis do passado, presente e até mesmo do futuro. Revoltas da natureza e animais incríveis, fatos chocantes e mistérios não resolvidos. Aqui você encontrará tudo isso e muito mais. Inscreva-se, você não vai se arrepender.